The holidays can be a busy time in the kitchen, but in this special edition of Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, Holly and AJ show you how to make the most of your kitchen real estate. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Rice, a world of great ideas, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Kitchen facilities provided by the Around Town Television Show. Hey there folks, I'm AJ Sabine and welcome to Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen. I am AJ Sabine, of course, with Holly Clegg and Holly. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's festive, but that means it's busy. It means a lot of people get all this pressure. What am I going to put on my holiday table? And I think sometimes we have our traditional recipes that you always make, but this is a real winner because it's rice made with Louisiana rice, and what's best about it, it doesn't go in the oven. Super. You know how you're always out of oven space. You never know. Absolutely. You have to judge it. And also, it freezes well, so you can make it ahead of time, and it's colorful, festive, and so I'm going to show you how to do it. Super. Okay. And uh, Holly, we have to thank the Around Town TV show for allowing us to be here during the holiday season. Absolutely. And uh, first, you said you started with some, uh, some onions, right? Right. We have uh, just one tablespoon of butter, and we've sauteed just some onions. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take our Louisiana rice, which is, this is brown. Brown. Right. And this is wild rice. Wild rice. Holly, did you know that Louisiana uh, rice producers planted over 420,000 acres of rice this year? No, and I bet you a lot of people don't know how good and how much we produce in Louisiana rice. And how healthy rice is for you. Absolutely, and that's this is a good way to sneak in brown rice as well. There's actually three grams of fiber in one cup of uh, brown rice, and there's only one fiber gram in white rice. So this is a good dish. Okay, well, I'm going to let your strong okay. arms push. We're going to add the beef broth. Beef broth, right? Right. And okay. you all know, of this in All here? of this. And, you know, rice calls for water. I'm using beef broth just to enhance the flavor. There you go. All of it. And wild rice and brown rice do take a little longer to cook. There you go. So we're going right. to let it cook for about 45 minutes and covered. And then you get, this is your dish. Voila. Now we have it cooked, and now we're going to jazz it up for the holidays. Okay. okay. I'm all about the jazz. Right, cranberries. We have to have our red cranberries. And I love the, uh, these are the Holland House cooking wines. I keep the sherry, vermouth, uh, red wine. I mean, who has all these in their pantry? In this way, it's I pantry don't. friendly. I don't. Now, here, the choice is yours. Okay. You want to soak this for about 10 minutes, and if you don't want to, you can drain it. That sherry, that smells like Christmas. Mm, doesn't it smell like right And who good. wants to drain it? Come on. We'll exactly. add it all. Okay. <laughs> and then we're just going to add our other ingredients. A little green onion. Okay. This okay. is parsley. parsley chopped parsley. parsley. And yeah. I'll just place all this in place here? Place it in. I'll do all the right. stirring. And all then right. a little thyme. Oh, wait. Give me a little scrape there. Oh, we don't want to leave any of this. A little yeah. thyme. A little you thyme. see the holiday colors. Uh -huh. yeah. Every time I, I think of uh, thyme, I think of that Paul Simon song. Okay. Well, I know we're not going to ask you to sing. Uh, and some walnuts. Some walnuts, which I've toasted ahead of time. I, you could get, if you toast any nuts, uh, and they freeze well toasted, mm -hmm. I'm a big believer in planning ahead. Get all you could get done ahead of time. And, and as you mentioned, you said that you could make this recipe, you know, a couple uh, weeks if, if you want to. Right, in right. Advance, right. Right, or cut up everything. And what's most helpful is everybody complains about oven room, and this is cooked on top of the stove. Okay. Super cool. Uh, a veggie. We need a veggie, and Absolutely. a lot of people serve asparagus, but I'm going to give it a little spunk. Asparagus right. with a great vinaigrette. Right. And again, this is a very simple vinaigrette. We're going to make it. I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. And y'all know me and my Nakano seasoned rice vinegars. This is the roasted garlic, but you could use the, just the natural or whatever you have at hand. And this it's adds a, a little zing? It adds a little mellow garlic flavor. And nice. Then we're going to add a little minced garlic here. Okay. A little just whisk. My whisk. My manly whisk. I'm going to let you do it. And then a little dill. A great combination of flavors as well. Now, what does the dill do? It adds a lot of flavor. I like dill. I happen to like dill, so that's why I put it in there. It complements the asparagus, and that's orange rind. Uh, and you can buy grated orange rind in the spice section. I, okay. I, that's fresh. I didn't know you could do that. But I keep it both ways. And that's it. And then what you could do, make that ahead of time. Do your asparagus. And this asparagus is served either room temperature or cold. It really doesn't matter. <clears throat> Excuse me, it doesn't matter. And when we come back, folks, we're going to show you how this wonderful recipe looks. Stick around, OK?
Thanks for sticking around, folks. We are back. And Holly, through the magic of television, I have whisked, whisked this dressing. And now I'm going to put it over your wonderful asparagus. Avery Davidson is now, I'm sure, jealous of me. There you go. Well, and what's great about these, this whole meal is if you're struggling with your holiday dinner, these are two simple recipes you can make ahead of time. This is with wild rice, if you missed it, and brown rice, our wonderful Louisiana rice, and asparagus with a little orange vinaigrette. Very that simple to do. That smells wonderful. And the proof is always in the tasting. This is his favorite part But before of the show. I taste, I have to thank the Around Town TV show for allowing us to be here all this year. So thank you, Around Town. That's right. We won't be back till next year. I that's know, huh? that's a cool? scary feeling. I wow. Know. Where does the time go? And if you want these recipes or many other great holiday mm. recipes, uh, they're all trim and terrific. Remember, my recipes are easy 30-minute recipes that are all healthier. With January coming around, I know people are going to be looking for that. Uh, you can go to my website, hollycollegg.com, or my blog is thehealthycookingblog.com. Folks, this is delicious. You, Holly, you can really taste the nuttiness of the brown rice. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's got a wonderful texture. It's a good combination of flavors with the rice. And then you have, you, what about the sherry? Um, uh -huh. I'm He's feeling a little pain right now, folks. <laughs> I can tell you right now. Well, and I like, how could you have the holidays without cranberries anyway? So it's Happy a holidays, one. everyone. Happy holidays. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Rice, a world of great ideas, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Kitchen facilities provided by the Around Town Television Show.